Remember Claude Dev? Well, it just got a major new update and it has been rebranded to a new name called Klein. It might take some time getting used to this new name, but with the rebrand comes exciting version 2.0 update, which is something I posted on X last night and it kept me up all night because I was really excited to make a video on this because the developer did a great job in enhancing Claude Dev once again. Now, one feature that I really wanted to talk about is the new streamed responses, which is going to allow answers to appear directly in your editor in real time. They've also added a cancel button, giving you more control over your tasks and stopping processes whenever needed. Tool calling efficiency also has been improved, which is going to reduce requests by around 40%, leading to faster performance. Finally, now there's an integration with Open Router letting you search and choose models including free options seamlessly, meaning that you can use the DeepSea Coder models now with Klein, and it's going to offer a more affordable option at a cheaper price in comparison to Claude with comparable performance. We're going to be diving into all of these updates in today's video, so with that thought, let's dive straight into it. To start off, let's talk about the name because the developer Saud really wanted to change the name from Claude Dev to Klein a long time ago because this is something that was originally developed with Claude 3.5 Sonnet's API. But with the version 2.0 model, it introduces major updates and boosts performance across various models, not just the Claude 3.5 Sonnet model, making it the perfect time for the extension to adopt its new identity, which is Klein. Now, this is definitely my favorite feature. This is where you can now say goodbye to those frustrating loading spinners. The responses are now streamed directly into your editor. And you can see on the right hand panel where changes are being made. And it's a bit more smoother where there's also this new fun yellow text animation that keeps you updated on client's progress at it as it basically edits through different changes. Watching client in action is going to basically be super exciting now because you're going to be able to see all the changes that are being made in real time. So along with the new streaming feature, there's also a new handy cancel button. So if you are to send in a request, you can actually cancel this request. And this is going to stop Klein mid-generation if he basically starts going off a track. It gives you more control over the task so that you can get results what you want quicker. And it's a game changer for keeping everything to the point. Now, the new update also reduces the number of requests, which is something we talked about previously. This is where it is going to lower the number of requests needed to complete a task by 40%. And this will overall enhance the performance with various models. It replaces the rigid API for tool use with a more flexible XML tag approach. This is going to allow models to interact with tools in a less constrained manner. Previously, older models used a strict JSON schema for tool calls, which would limit accessibility for models like Llama and DeepSeq, as well as hindered Claude 3.5 Sonnet's potential. By adopting insights from prompt engineering and Anthropic's tagging system, Klein now enables models to invoke tools using unstructured text with XML tags, and overall, this will basically improve task execution. For example, in a benchmark test where I asked the model to implement a dark mode toggle in a Next.js app, it was able to measure the number of requests needed to complete the task, which would demonstrate improved efficiency and capability of this new system. Now, with this new update, what you can do is you can go over to the settings tab and you're going to be able to go over to the API providers and click on open router and you're going to be able to choose various models. Now, if you are to search over free models, you can access and discover no cost options, making it easier to find models that fit the needs and budgets for your own preference. It automatically fetches the latest model list and pricing details, and it's going to ensure access to the newest models as soon as they're released. So this is a new feature that I really appreciate with Client. Klein also did a pretty subtle, you know, I would say, upgrade because they had transitioned from the MIT license to the Apache 2.0 license. And this is to overall enhance open source protections for its future development. This change is going to aim to provide a stronger legal safeguard, which is going to obviously foster collaboration and innovation. If you're interested to learn more about the version 2.0 update by reading through the more detailed logs of what had changed, 
I definitely recommend that you take a look at this, which I'll leave in the description below. But now that we have covered this new update, let's take a look at the updates in real time. What I want you guys to do is first download this as a VS Code extension if you do not have Klein. You can simply go over to the marketplace, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. Click on install, which will open up Visual Studio Code. You need to make sure that you also have Visual Studio Code as your IDE in this case. So once you have installed it, you'll then have it popped open on the left hand panel of all your extensions. And what you can do from here is you can configure the settings so that you can utilize any of these different API providers from Open Router, which is going to now let you access free models in my opinion the best model that you can use for free is going to be the deep seek models so definitely take a look at these models and you're going to be able to gain access to the best of the best open source models so let's test this out in action this is where i'm going to request it to build a simple client onboarding flow that is modern with chat cn which is a package that's going to enhance the ui components so once you send in the EU request you can see that there is a cancel button on the bottom you can run these commands within your terminals, which is something that happened in the last prior update. Now, with this API request, you're going to be able to run all of these simple commands on the left hand panel. But what is my favorite update that came out from the version 2.0 release is that it's going to be more flexible for different models to run, uh, I would say, calling tools with models like Cloud 3.5 Sonnet with DeepSeek as well as with Llama because it's going to lead to a 40% reduction. And like you see right now, you are able to see that yellow panel slide down as it made changes in real time, which is the new feature that was released that we talked about in terms of streaming generation. But with this new 40% reduction in the number of requests needed to complete tasks and improve performance for models like Llama and DeepSeek, it's going to provide a more I would say effective approach for the model to perform tasks and it's going to be basically more efficient. For example, with this model that I'm using, which is the Cloud 3.5 Sonnet, it's going to require fewer requests for a task. Another thing is, is that it previously required the system to have a strict JSON format, which limited the model's effectiveness. Now, with the simpler XML tag like the read, files that you can execute within the left hand panel or even the execute commands you can have the models perform tasks way better and there you go this is the onboarding flow that i was able to create with a single prompt with the new update of client but that's a gist of what this new version 2.0 update is as well as the new rebrand of client now i'll leave all the links that i used in today's video in the description below there's a lot of new things that will be coming out with cloud dev or with Klein now. I'm um, sorry, I'm just getting used to this new name. But I'll definitely keep you guys updated with whatever changes are released with this new version. So with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you give this new repository a star. Make sure you follow the developer behind Klein as he has done a great job in elevating this platform even further. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon so that you can access our private Discord where we share a lot about whatever is happening in the AI space. Make sure you follow me on the Twitter uh, page so that you can stay up to date with whatever is happening in the AI space. And lastly, make sure you get subscribed, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.